Hello everyone, my name is Michael, and welcome to our fasting devotional. Today I'm going to be talking about what is fasting. The definition of fasting is a voluntary or voluntarily abstaining from food or drink or a limiting of one's food intake for a health or spiritual purpose. Now note, when you fast, fasting only has to do with food. You know, I hear some people say, I'm fasting TV or I'm fasting social media. This is the truth. You can only fast food or drink. If you're uh, abstaining from social media or TV, that may be a discipline and that may be something we do while we're fasting, but fasting only has to do with food. Now, there's two major reasons people fast. The first one is health purposes. And we know about intermittent fasting. I've done that myself. Um, fasting actually promotes blood sugar control. It, it boosts our metabolism, promoting weight loss. Uh, the other reason, which is the reason we're going to be talking about, is spiritual purposes. Okay? Now, as we talk about fasting from here on, we're going to be talking about a spiritual fast. And this is one major reason why we fast. And it is to draw closer to God or draw closer to Jesus. We can uh, have God's spirit living in us, but yet be far from him. This is the truth. You know, when, when I think of um, my house, for an example, I have, you know, a, a lot of kids, seven kids, and one of my older boys, he, he goes to work, I work, and, and throughout the week, there's, there's been weeks where literally I've probably saw him once or twice throughout the whole week because of his schedule and my schedule. We live in the same house, we're there, but we barely see each other. And, and this is what can happen if we're not careful, that we can be safe, we can have a, a relationship or say that we have a relationship with God, but the truth is he lives in us, but we don't have the relationship that I know he desires that we have with him. And so this is what fasting, one major purpose of fasting is that we draw closer to God. And, and I love this scripture in Philippians uh, three and eight, it says this, yes, everything else is worthless, when compared with the infinite value of knowing Christ Jesus, that's what we're talking about, my Lord. This is Paul talking. For his sake, I have discarded everything else, counting it all garbage so that I may gain Christ. This is what we're doing when we fast. We're getting rid of all the distractions. Uh, one of the main distractions, even for me, food. I like good food. So I'm saying I'm not going to eat so that I can draw closer to God. That's what we're saying, right? Let me, let me just mention um, uh, two things that will happen when you fast. Number one, you will be hungry, right? <laughs> I, I know that's pretty funny, but we have to prepare ourselves for this. You know, the scripture says in, Mar in Matthew 4, uh, 1 and 2, it says, Jen Jesus was led by the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. For 40 days and for 40 nights, uh, he fasted and became very hungry. Now, this is a little extreme here, but the truth is, when you begin to fast, even within the first day, you will be hungry. Why am I mentioning this? Well, I'm, I'm mentioning this just so that you can brace yourself, prepare yourself, because it is going to happen. And what is the remedy for that? Well, we'll talk about that. The second thing that will happen when we fast is we will be tempted. You know, the scripture says that the devil tempted Jesus. So how much more us? And this is the truth. You say, well, what am I gonna be tempted with? Well, number one, you're gonna be tempted to eat. Like we talked about, you're gonna be hungry. You know, the, uh, the devil told Jesus, turn these, the, these stones into bread, right? He, and he quoted the word of God to come against the enemy that was trying to tempt him and come against him. And this is the truth. You know, the same voice that is telling us to eat food, you know, our flesh, the devil, while we're fasting, is the same voice that we're, 
we're trying to really kill, to, to put to death the voice of the flesh, the voice of the enemy. And so while you're fasting, you're going to be tempted. You're going to hear that voice. Let's not listen to that voice. And once again, in the scripture, Jesus says it. If you read Matthew 4, 1 through 10, Jesus says it three times. It is written. It is written. What was his response to the enemy or the voice of the flesh? The word of God. So here's a couple of things we'll be doing when we're fasting. We'll be praying. Remember, a, a fast without prayer, it, it's just a diet, right? And the whole purpose of this fast that we're doing is to draw closer to God, to have closer relationship, to commune with him, to, to get rid of all distractions and, and draw close to God. So we're going to pray. Luke 5 and 16, it says this, but Jesus often withdrew himself to the wilderness for prayer. So Jesus, he's doing ministry in the time that he did ministry. He's out with the disciples. And the scripture says that often he would withdraw himself and go and pray. Take time to get with the Father. And during this fast, this is going to be very important. I, I want to say this. You won't be able to make it through this fast if you don't pray. All right. Another thing that we that we're going to be doing. I mentioned this before is eating or reading the word of God. You know, and who is the word? Well, John 1 and 1, it says this in the beginning. Uh, uh, the word already existed. The word was with God and the word was God. Well, the word is Jesus, right? This is our goal to get closer to Jesus. So if we're going to get closer to Jesus, then this is what we do. We read the word. We eat the word. And, and that's I know that sounds kind of weird. Eat the word. Well, look at this scripture here. In John 6 and 48, Jesus says this. Yes, I am the bread of life. And so that is what we're eating. When we eat the word, it's Jesus. The word is Jesus, right? We're eating life. And especially when we're fasting. When we're fasting, this is going to be our life, not to the flesh. This is what we're trying to do. We're trying to actually deny the flesh, actually put the flesh to death, our corner ways, and build our spirit, right? And so how do we do that? Eat the bread of life. Eat the word, right? Matthew 4 and 4 says, but Jesus told him, who was he talking to? Satan. No, the scripture says, People do not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of God. And this is the truth. If we're going to have a successful fast for 21 days or whatever fast that, that we're doing, it's going to be by the word of God that we are sustained through the fast. And so happy fasting. God bless you guys. And, and let's, let's hang in there. And this is, this, remember, this is the goal that we get closer to God, that we hear God's voice clearer than ever so that we can live the life that he has for us. God bless you. Love you guys. Mm -hmm.